Let's all thank the wonderful patrons for supporting the channel. I can't show everything from the visual novel, so if you support me in Patreon, you will be able to watch everything from the old to the naughty. <laughs> also, don't forget to ring that bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified with future videos. Now, let's start the show! <clears throat> Hello, everybody! My name's Yuki Cookie, and welcome to Starcross. Now, this is a game about space gays. That's right, space gays is the selling point of this game. Space gays! Woo! We can change name. Wonderful. Congratulations, Albert. You will be the main character for this game called Starcross. The stars are always there. Their timeless dance never fails to put me at peace. When I'm nothing but a speck in the middle of the universe, my worries and doubts wash away like grains of sand in the, in the ocean sky. Here by myself, watching the stars, I don't feel alone. Uh. But tonight, something peculiar is happening. The night seems slightly darker than usual. It felt like something was missing. Oh, right, clouds. <laughs> oh! Is, are you Albert? That's funny. That's... <clears throat> excuse me. The typical protagonist voice. <laughs> That's funny. Some of Ursa, Ursa Major stars are missing. I check my phone. Yes, I check my phone, wondering among about the smog levels. The bright screen blinds me for a second. Well, the weather report said nothing about about clouds. Tonight should be especially clear, since it's a new moon. None of the yeah, new moon twilight. None of the none, none of the news reports online had anything anything either. Only the regular celebrity gossip. Even on the city's astronomy forum. Nothing irregular has been reported, so what's going on? Was it just me? Was it just me? Albert! <laughs> the remaining stars pulse back in an unnatural pattern. It seems something is controlling their shine. Maybe someone's sending a message. Yeah, someone's sending a message. Is that Amicus? I haven't had enough sleep. I rub my eyes, feeling jittery from the coffee I had. The blinking from above continued, faster and more erratic. I s a sense of apprehension creeps its way into my body. These stars have been my friends for all my life. Ah! <laughs> These stars are your friends for all your life. Woo! This must be a pretty lonely boy. <laughs> and no one's paying attention to them. Uh, excuse me. Is there? There's a thing called NASA and astrologists. And if something out there was sending a message, I want to tell them that I'm. I want to tell them I'm here. I'm here! I'm queer! And I'm here for the space gaze! <laughs> um... I'm going to do it. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Spread your legs? These three constellations seem to be shining their own different pattern. Ooh! Which one should I call out? Leo! I aim my antenna at Leo. Oh, I aim my antenna at Leo! Eek! <laughs> I don't know if I'm kind if I'm the kind of person with authority to do this, but if there's sentient beings out there, I want I want to be the I want to be the one to talk to them, or at least have someone to share my love of space with. <laughs> I found I find the rhythm of the unnatural flickering, and begin to snap my fingers along to it. Clack clack clack. I take out my own signaling equipment. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have a lot of Steven Universe songs in here. Well, I'm gonna sing it, but I'm not gonna play the songs. I'm gonna sing it and repeat the rhythm through radio waves, a burst of radio static to match the burst of light. I continue to I continue the pattern over and over again until my fingers are numb. Then the air freezes still. I stop and look at the sky. Huh? Oh! The stars! They're gone! Bring back the stars! You know what I do. I really wanna do to see a giant woman, a giant woman. <laughs> the constellation, no, a giant man, a giant spaceman. <laughs> the constellations began blinking out. One by one, the stars simply disappeared. Weird, isn't it? In, hard, in hardly a minute, every star flickers out of existence until the sky was nearly pitch black. The lights left are the, st are the satellites and the occasional flash of a plane. My hands freeze above the controls. And I'm left staring up at a dark void. Hello, da hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> hello, what's going on? This is so cre it's so creepy, man. <laughs> Please come back. I stay on the hill. I thought you're my friends. <laughs> I thought you're Albert's friends. 
I stay on the hill, anxiously waiting until I could uh, until I couldn't take the silence any longer. <gasps> My friends come back! Huh. I've forgotten. I'm scared of the dark. Oh! Uh oh? You're scared of the dark. You go out at night. You like to see stars. What? <laughs> Basically, the thing you love is also your weakness. <laughs> Fumbling with cold fingers, I start to stuff my my astro astro astronomy gear in my bag. I didn't know what exactly was going on, but I knew I didn't want to be on that on that hill alone any longer. <sighs> Phew! I haven't sprinted that fast in ages. That was scary back there, man! What kind of a phenomenon was that? It wasn't in any of the textbooks I've read. Maybe the stars will be back tomorrow. I really hope so. But what if they aren't? <sighs> well... There's nothing I can do right now. It's late. I should be. Ho I, sh I should head home. Oh yeah, home! I love my star juice and my and my reference to Gurren Lagann. <laughs> I wonder if I'm the only one noticing the stars were disappearing. I grab some leftover takeout from the from the local Chinese place and shove it in the, in the microwave to cook, too, so I can have heated COVID-19. Such is the life of a poor college student. The empty apartment left me feeling anxious. I had to tell someone about someone my troubles. Oh my god, who's Stephanie? Who's dad? Call da I should call dad. I should call Stephanie. Stephanie Mayor? <laughs> okay, who should we call? Are, are we gonna call dad? Or Stephanie? Dad? Friend? Do I trust dad? Let's call dad. It's... It's late, Albert. What are you doing? I was... I was out stargazing again. That's okay and all, but how are your studies going? That's more important than your little interest. Oh, uh, I look over at the stack of physics books on the kitchen table. I'm working on it. Uh, listen, I... How many times have you been out at night, Albert? You have responsibilities now. You're a college student. It's not like the old time that we go, we, we, when we can go camping all the time. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Kiddo, get on that grind. You want to be an astronaut and all that? Then it's gonna be a hard road ahead. But I know you can do it. Put your mind to it. I, 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 I'll get to it now. Good, good. Send me your nudes, I mean your grades, when they come in, okay? All right. Good night. Well, that didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Get anywhere. Maybe I'll tell Stephanie tomorrow over our usual coffee. Seems like she's late. Oh, yeah! My friend is late! For coffee! I should ask somebody else about, about what happened. Stephanie's friend is uh, working today, so I'll ask her. But first, some coffee. Okay, now what does Albert like? Iced coffee with milk or hazelnut cream express? Well, okay, iced coffee with milk then. Iced coffee with milk. One ice cup, one ice coffee with milk, please. Sure thing. Uh, by the way, Nora, did you happen to see anything in the sky last night? Albert, some of us actually sleep, unlike you. I'm not stargazing or whatever it, it or whatever it is at 3 a.m. Oh, great. She definitely doesn't like me. No, um, it's not that. It's um, well, I didn't see anything yesterday. As in, the stars weren't there. Well, I never see anything here anyway, so I'm not sure why you're asking me. I, um, uh, you have a point there. Man, he's socially awkward. He should be in the, in socially awkward the game. <laughs> Oops. I guess my reputation here is less than stellar. Nora makes my coffee and hands it over with a fake customer smile. Hope to see you again. Nah, not really. Not. Jeez. Hey, Albert. Hey, Albert! I'm here! Oh, oh, boobies! <laughs> oh, hey, Steph. It's Stephanie, Mayor. She looks as cheerful as she always is. And she usually is. Which tends to hover around ready... Uh, ho hover around ready to tell someone off for pointing out how messy her hair is right now. She's a very expressive person. That's what I meant. <laughs> you won't believe... You won't believe what happened at Karen's party yesterday. Oh my god, she is such a Karen. Oh my god, they were screaming. We were screaming. I'm still screaming inside, like, SCREAMING! <laughs> my boobs are screaming. I I'm sorry, 
I I'm sorry you had to go through that. Sure. <laughs> and not exactly into loud noise and people bumping up against me. Yeah. I yeah! So that's why I was late. Hey, Nora! One large pumpkin spice latte, please! Hey, hey, Stephanie! Nice to see you again! Don't worry, it's on the house. Oh, oh my gosh! Really? Thanks, hon! <coughs> Hovering between the, the end of the world and the top of the world, she's still the same old Steph. Stephanie eventually got her drink and sat down across from me at the table. So, what's up with you today? You look a bit down. I'm surprised you noticed. I don't know if it's that I don't I don't know if it's that crazy. That's what you as what you went through. I mean, I just watch stars all the time. Stephanie's on her phone again. Her and her and that thing are inseparable. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Uh, what happened? Did you get robbed? No, nothing happened to me exactly. It was just like you know. The stars were acting super weird. Like, all of a sudden, pff, it's gone. Like whispers in the wind. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm listening. She's definitely on Spacebook. Spacebook! Get it? Spacebook! <clears throat> yeah, first I noticed a bunch of stars were missing, and then some of them were violently flashing. Maybe a distress signal or something? Uh -huh. Maybe I'm sounding like one of those conspiracy theory guys, but... Or Matt Pat, I don't know, uh... Cause it's JUST A THEORY! A uh, SPACE THEORY! Thanks for watching. I was wondering if they were messaging me, uh... Us. Mm-hmm. Her fingers stopped for a moment. <laughs> so I tried matching the blinking with my radio signals. From the equipment, I keep in... I keep in... Okay, sorry. From the equipment, I keep in case I get lost. And then, they all just disappeared. Oh, oh gosh, that must have been pretty scary. Oh, that must have been pretty scary. <laughs> her fingers were tapping at light speed now, and there's no stopping her when that happens. Yeah, maybe I'm just overthinking all of this. Don't get worked up over it, Albert. Uh, stars are permanent. They're not going anywhere anytime soon, unless they explode. That's not exactly true. And anyways, and anyways, it's probably the light pollution that you keep complaining about. Unless people are talking about it, it's probably not a big deal. You're probably right. I didn't see anything on the news about anything I saw. Stephanie was only politely listening to me, but I but I felt grateful anyways. It felt better to get it off my chest. No, in Steven Universe, people want to fuck space, ro space lady rocks. In here... That boy wants to fuck space manly rocks. <laughs> Even if we didn't see eye to eye, I think she still liked me because I was the rare person to listen quietly. Speaking of scary story, let me tell you what happened at work the other day. It was the absolute worst. <laughs> oh yeah, thank God we shouldn't, we won't listen to that horrible story. That's why it's called a horror story. It was horrible. <laughs> Well, Stephanie was no help. I don't think I can leave this alone, though. I push past the droves of people on the street, heading towards the park on the hill. Everyone is chattering, and I hear the usual gossip and mundane talk. I feel a prick of frustration rising in my chest. Does anybody notice what's going on right about them? My thoughts are swirling, jumping to worst conclusions. What's happening to, to the stars? What if they never come back? What if the universe is ending? What if? What if? WHAT IF THANOS SNAP HIS FINGERS?! I can't think this negatively. I force my legs to run, trying to escape from my own thoughts. Yeah! RUN! RUN AWAY FROM YOUR THOUGHTS! I wanted to get here as soon as possible, but I, but I, but I might have gotten here way too early. The sun is barely setting, and it'll be a few hours before the stars supposedly come, come back out. I sit in the tall grass, planning to take a nap. Then all of a sudden, a POKEMON APPEARS! GO! Clefairy, I choose you! Clefairy! I see something in the corner of my eye. OH WAIT, WHAT THE HELL IS THIS?! <laughs> it's a bright streak in the dimming orange sky. Um, boy, I think you need to get away from there. No way! A meteor? 
and it's coming right for me! <laughs> I excitedly get up to my feet. I guess it wasn't worthless to come early. This is such a rare occurrence. I have to take a few pictures. Uh, wait. Holy crap! Is it just me, or is that thing getting too close? Or getting a little bigger? Oh, crap! <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, 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 majestic. Mm. He has star titties. <laughs> oh, I, for I forgot to adjust the gravity. I, I, sorry, I forgot to adjust for gravity on this tiny planet. Uh, uh what happened? Uh, who are you? Oh, ah, uh, uh, oh, the human. Yeah, the human. The newcomer trips and stumbles across the grass. It seems like walking is a completely new concept to him, but he's eager to learn. Where did he come from? He looks hurt! He must come from outer space! That must be a space game! <laughs> Something must have torn him up, but he doesn't seem phased by it. He moves with a slight bounce, as if he had too much energy and had to get rid of it. He came from the meteor. Yeah, he came from the meteor! Yeah. So is this person even human? Maybe he's a space rock? A gem? You were... The one that summoned me? Oh god, he's talking to me! Uh, I I did what? Suddenly, he kneels to the ground in front of me. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Chotomate, what the hell is going on? I am not ready, I'm not prepared for this. I was happy. Someone was still looking out for us. Huh? Captain, my god, he sparkles! <laughs> he sparkles! <laughs> captain of the Spiral Knights, Le I'm Captain of the Spiral Knights. Leo, I've come to protect humanity. From what? <laughs> His eyes are just the color of the sunset. But that aside, he looks seriously beat up. Are you alright? Yeah. Pretty bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pretty bad fight yesterday. We sent out a, di a distress signal, and you were the only one to respond. I came at light speed to your side. Truly, it is a great pleasure to meet you, inhabitant of Earth. I swear on my honor as a knight. Sorry, I swear, I swear on the, on my honor as a knight. I will protect you with my. Ah! Oh God! Just <laughs> don't do that. The, don't let the kids watch it. Blood spurts out of his mouth and ga and a gash on his side. I think. I think he's squirting up ketchup. I think that's ketchup. Let me taste if it's ketchup. Is it ketchup? Hmm. It's bloody ketchup. <laughs> My body freezes in panic, and I nearly fall over, fall over in surprise. Hey, hey, Leo, Leo, you're hurt. My arms find themselves reaching out, and I catch him before he collapses onto the ground. The His body seems to radiate heat into my arms as I hold him up. You're so hot! Literally hot! <laughs> Fortunately, I'm used to lugging heavy stuff all around. So, still, his weight was definitely going to be a burden. Take it easy. I'll get help. Oh, let me rest for a bit. I don't need that much attention. What are you saying? We need to get to a hospital now, right now! This is nothing. Trust me. I want to trust him, to be honest. <laughs> I want to trust him, but I also don't believe him. What should we do? Trust him or believe him? Or don't believe him? Trust him or don't believe him? I mean... I mean... I mean, that's a, that is a problem if ketchup just all of a sudden squirts out from your chest. Okay, let's trust him. Okay, okay. Calm down. It's good. It's going to be okay. I'll get you somewhere safe, and you can tell me what's going on. Who, who needs coming down? Hey! Hey! I won't hesitate to call the hospital if you get any worse than this. Judging by the blood dripping from his mouth, he's gonna need more than a few bandage bandages when we get back. Oh, don't worry. Catero has so many bandages. Just ask. Just ask him for it, and yeah, just ask him for it, and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> it won't. I'm way tougher than that. Oh, sure. Sure, Leo, sure. Just like the Leo from Fairy Tale. Are you kidding me? 
You're bleeding all- You're bleeding- You're bleeding all out! Sorry. Wrong expression. Are you kidding me? You're bleeding all out! What do you mean you're tougher than that? I, I am. I'm in short, I would I would be what I would be what your humans call an alien. I'm sorry, I'm afraid you'll have to hide me. They can't know I'm here. Not yet. Okay, sweetie, who's gonna look for you? Space gays <laughs> I mean people will just look at you and say, Oh he's cosplaying <laughs> This is crazy, but his eyes are grave and serious. Leo, what do you need me to do? Thanks. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. What do you need me to do? Thanks. That's not an answer to my question. He suddenly passed out without responding. I'm worried he just... i worried if he just died in front of me, but I hear him snoring faintly like... <laughs> I can't let him sleep out here. I guess I'll have to bring him home. Oh yeah, home. Ah yeah, put this blood all over the walls! <laughs> So that's all the ga- that's all the gauze- ga ga gauze, sorry. That's all- that's all the gauze I had in the first aid kit. It'll have to do for now. I didn't even think someone could bleed that much. I don't know how long I can keep him here. If he's an- if he's an alien, he might fit- he, he might fit in if he takes off that fancy outfit. Well, not in that way, if- GET YOUR MIND OUT OF THE GUTTER! I'm super worried. To be honest, I don't want to have someone's death on my conscience. I need to calm down, okay. <sighs> Normally I go out and look at the stars, but... Oh, oh god! I forgot my telescope! I forgot all my gear on the hill! But I can't simply leave him alone. <laughs> It'll have to wait until later. I hope no one's around to steal it while I wait for him to wake up. <clears throat> now, the question of... What... The, no, the question is not the question of... It's... No, the question is... What is he anyway? Did it have to do? Did it have to do with the stars disappearing? Oh, nice! I sorry. Nice. Nice. This is nice. <laughs> this is nice. He said he was an alien, but he looks pretty human to me, though. Leo has a glow to him, though. Maybe he has fever. Without thinking, my finger brush brushes against his cheek. Huh? His face is as warm as the rest of his body, almost like a space eater. Good morning. Is this how humans greet each other? Yeah! Yes! That's how- Yeah! Maybe! <laughs> Is that how humans greet each other? Maybe! <laughs> okay, since I save, let's try maybe. Maybe. Really? Alright, let me do it to you back. Oh, uh, you don't have to. But won't it be rude if I don't get a well, if I don't greet you back? It was a joke. Oh, it was. <laughs> okay, noted. Weirdo. Oh, you're the weirdo, weirdo. But, but I'm not going to die, so you can stop hovering around me like a seagull. You do seem a bit healthier now, but I'd rather not see you push yourself and getting injured again. Uh huh. Sure thing. I was checking to see if you were sick. You were burning up. I is that a joke too? I believe there are multiple ways of burning up. Uh, which one is it right now? Uh, sorry, uh, which one is it right now? No, um, don't you have a fever? Hmm? No, I feel fine. Just a little sore. I've been in many battles, so I'm used to this now. Anyways, enough about me. What's your name, little one? Oh, uh, it's Albert. And I'm Leo. Captain of the Spiral Knights! You said that already. Thank you for saving me, Albert. I feel as if my fate in humanity is restored. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. We shake hands. His head is still unusually warm. Kind of cozy. Okay. So, what are you exactly? Oh, no. Uh, well, you should get to understand the situation now. Uh, okay. Question. Uh... So what are you exactly, or are you truly an alien? What are you exactly? We're the constellations of your skies. Given form. Given form! Do you need a key for that? <laughs> hmm? I'm not a wizard. You gave, the, you gave the skies a meaning, and so we were created to defend humanity from extinction. Really? Where were you when Thanos attacked? <laughs> we owe our existence to you. Really? Really? Yeah. We get our powers from the stars that are part of us. 
Obviously, our true bodies would melt the earth. So this body here only serves as a proxy. He pats his chest. He seemed proud of himself, that's for sure. Uh, that seems... That seems... Uh, unbelievable. Wait, extinction from what? Uh... Hmm? I, 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 I honestly don't know. I don't know anything! What? For the most part, the stars from perform in the sky, guiding and warning the people below. People throughout history have, have been able to read our omens and interpret them. We live, in, we live in peace, observing from above. But recently, we've come across a, a threat that can, can't be ignored. Something has been stirring in the shadows. And so, we've been going off to investigate them. What's happening? Does it have anything to do with the stars disappearing? Yeah, many of our friends merely stopped existing. The rest may have gone into hiding. Their light has stopped reaching Earth. Okay. <laughs> so... Question, is this like Quan, Rise of the Guardians, where people stop believing in the stars? Is that what you're trying to say? Because it feels like that! Apparently, sweetie. Then you have to do something, right? Uh, huh? That's what you came here for, to stop the stars from fading out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, I was feeling a bit down. We can't stop here. The reason I came to you is... Bad touch! Bad touch! Stranger danger! <laughs> he suddenly grabs my hand. I think you're something special, Albert. Okay! This is weird! Why are you doing this? Why now? What? <laughs> this is weird. What is he doing? This is rape! <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I think you're spe something special, Albert. Huh? Huh? How so? <laughs> you were watching the stars. Uh, how is that something special, though? Others will. Uh, are the others still do that? <laughs> you humans live in an age where the stars are not something to be worshipped or admired anymore. But despite that, you still have that shine in your eyes. <laughs> despite us constellations blessed with near unlimited nuclear power. What? <laughs> that power still comes from humans. What? I think if we are to evolve. We have to go back to our roots and join up with humans and fuck them. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> hmm? Like Zeus! What? His hands softly tighten around mine, fiery eyes gleaming at me. What do you mean? Me? Do you want to explode? One. Isn't it obvious? I'm talking about you. I think the Space Academy would definitely take an interest in you. I don't know exactly how, but I think, I think you could help us. Despite being human. Where exactly is this academy? Oh, oh, deep in the Oort Cloud. It's where we remain unseen from humans. The Oort Cloud? That's like years away. It, do you know who you're talk do you know who you're talking to? No way. No way. I I think I think the answer is no way. No way. You're, you're I think I think this is the answer. I'm not sure, but I think... No way. Yes way. Oh my god. Yes way. Yes way. With my powers, we'll arrive in a few hours. Not like you snail humans with your slow rockets. Hey! At least we're developing, Mr. Star. Y yeah. Okay. Sure thing. I don't entirely believe him at this point. There's no way any of this could be true. What were all my astronomy classes? What were all my astronomy classes for, for if the constellations were defying all of them right in front of me? What has my education been for? <gasps> Was my education been a lie all this time? Oh well, well, that's, that's over! <laughs> well, that's done! I like this visual novel. Because all of a sudden, the main character is very important and also all of the boys really wants him. <sighs> they want to get to his booty. I just, yeah. I, I need to test something. Do you uh, need to eat? I get up from next to the from next to the couch, wondering if I should make dinner. My stomach has been rumbling and it's getting late. Oh, nourishment? I've done it a few times. It's fun. It's not necessary for me, but it tastes delicious. Wait, so you are a gem? <laughs> I have a few instant ramen packs. I don't know about their taste though. 
Oh, I want to try it. Yeah, search yourself. I put the cup in the microwave and set it to two minutes. Leo looks at it in fascination, and I can't help but smile. Even in these circumstances, I feel a little bit better with, with him around. Char. <laughs> You're a funny, you're a funny guy, Leo. The box is beeping. What does it mean? It's done. Here, I hand the cup to him with a fork, and immediately starts ch chowing, 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 chowing down. I, I, I'm reminded of a golden retriever. Mmm, oishi, <laughs> it's delicious. Mm. You're a great chef. Oh yeah, I'm a great chef. In instant noodles. <laughs> He slurps the noodles loudly. I'm a master chef in noodle in instant noodles. That aside, what are you going to do to, to do on Earth? On Earth, sorry. I've, or I've already done it. I found you. Found me for what? As my partner. What? What kind of partner? Partner in crime? Partner in the academy? Or partner, partner like love partner? He seems so earnest. But why? Wait, what? You and you and me, uh, fighting the battle to determine the fate of the universe. We're going to find out what's causing the disruption together. You were the one that called out to me, correct? Yes, but... But... My heart's pounding. Dug, dug. I'm scared. I didn't ask for this. This was my... This was way over my head. You could choose literally anyone else in the world. I feel something tingling through my arms. Someone more qualified than me. Look at my noodly arms! Like a surge of power. Or with more courage. But currently, it makes me feel nauseous. But you're the one I've chosen. Leo stares at me. Puzzled. Yeah, I'm puzzled. Why is he so special? Why can't this Albert be the special one? Oh, great. I made him sad now. I stumble away from him, feeling a headache, a headache building. Hmm? Are you sure you're not the one getting a fever? Uh, huh? 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 Oh, sorry, uh, I think I forgot something on the hill. I'll be right back. Uh, stay here and rest. I stumbled up and ran out of the living room. <sighs> oh, are you crying? <sighs> I don't know why I was crying. Maybe all of this was overwhelming me. I truly believed him and that meant Earth was in danger. You're so special! I'm running all the way up here. I should have been completely out of breath. Despite it all, I still felt full of energy, but also a growing sense of dread. The stars weren't back. The dark void above me was silent and dead, the same as last night. Though the hill was quiet, deserted as ever, the sky that once calmed me felt foreboding instead. I slowly pick up my abandoned gear. Leo's crazy talk was true. But then why? Then but then why me? Why not a professional astronaut? Why approach a, why approach a nobody when so many adults were more qualified than me? In fact. What were the adults even doing about all this? Shouldn't there there at least be something in the news? Something must must really be wrong. There's no way I'm the only one that noticed this. I stumbled back down the hill. And now that I think about it, Leo had told me the truth I had been searching for, and all I did was run from it. <laughs> that was cowardly of me to run off. I should head back and, and apologize. Huh? There's someone very official looking standing outside my apartment. She's been waiting for someone. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, young man. Might I ask what you're doing out this late? Wait, that voice. Steph, what are you doing here? She mutters something under her, under her breath. <clears throat> oh, oh, hey, uh, Albert. My boss asked me to take care of something, something here. Something wrong with my apartment? More along the lines of this entire building. We've had reports of a missing person being brought into this building, and we're trying to figure out who it is. Did someone see me carrying Leo? Did, did someone see me carrying Leo? I immediately go on guard. I think she's evil! I haven't seen anything of that sort. Sorry. Well, you're always out late at night, so I figured you'd know something if you saw it. <laughs> Again, I haven't seen anything, and I'm exhausted, so I'll just... Please! Oh, you can see from the eyes! Please, Albert! Yep, she's evil. She's evil. I knew the girl, the girls in visual novels are evil. Well, not all of them are evil. 
She's not Yuri. She's not in the level of Yuri where we could. Oh my God! No, this is Doki Doki Literature Literature Club all over again. It's the evil pink-haired lady from the Doki Doki. We really need to to know all we can. I can make it worth your while. No, 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 no! Don't suck my dick. I don't want to be sucked by, suck by you. Her hand is rubbing on my thigh now. Ew! Maybe it will it'll be a bad idea to go along with it. No! Leo needs me! No! No! Leo needs me! Leo needs me! Boy! Boy! Leo needs me! Leo needs me! Whatever she's up to, she's up to doesn't matter. She's always been stooping around for gossip. I have to apologize to Leo. I haven't seen anyone lately. That's the last time I'm, sa I'm saying it. I haven't seen anyone lately. That's the last time I'm saying it. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, Dan Dan? Of course not. Who's Dan Dan? I'm not you. Now please, stop trying to hug me. I have work to do. I give her an awkward wave and close the door on her face. She, she was evil! I knew she was evil! I let out a sigh. She was a bit unsettling. I can almost feel her staring through the door. Damn it, Stephanie. She's, all, she's probably thinking I'm dating someone. I'm not. I'm not, though. I swear. Who was that? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, who was that? Who was that? Leo scrambles to the, to the door, smiling a bright wel welcome, welcoming, welcoming smile. L Leo, uh, that I, uh, uh, she, uh, she's nobody important. What is important is that I apologize to you. Oh, uh, for what? For leaving you here al alone, and running off just because I thought I wasn't, you know, worthy enough to have someone like you, even talk to me. Hmm. You're definitely worthy of my attention. Yeah, have you seen his eyes? He said it so it's so nonchalantly. And he does mean it. I could tell. He he doesn't even question why I ran off the day and uh, ran off I ran off the way. He probably wasn't even upset by, about it. But why though? There there are so many huge organizations that are dedicated to the universe outside the earth, outside of Earth. Why approach me? And that's someone that's qualified. As of now, they can't be trusted. You notice the news, or at least the lack of any, haven't you? Yeah, but how do you know about that? I browsed your phone while you were gone. What? That's private. Uh, 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 oh, uh, it is. <laughs> you should have a you should have a better password. Am I not supposed to use my powers to figure it out? <gasps> you have password. You have password decrypting powers. I want that! I want that power! Power decrypting powers! <laughs> uh, no, um, it's very private. You're not supposed to snoop around. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry about that. He scratched his head, confused. <laughs> Funny humans. We constellations never hide anything from each other. We lived together for billions of years, so I know everything about my friends. <laughs> Anyways, for some reason, the enemy doesn't want humanity to know about the missing stars. That must mean they don't want people to find out for some reason. That's, uh, that's understandable though. Whenever humans get involved, things go awry. If I had approached anyone with direct connections to one of your societal go governments, that might be dangerous for me. But I don't have anything. I'm not, n I'm nothing but a regular guy trying to pass school. I wouldn't have that, I wouldn't have that feeling I did with you. That I could trust you. Trust me? I haven't done much. You haven't turned me in, for one, I, and I need someone that can watch my back. I can't prevent a surprise attack if one, if one were to happen to me. Besides, I don't want to cause any unnecessary bloodshed. One swipe of my sword and I could accidentally blow your entire apartment complex of the map. Which sword? Which sword? THIS SWORD! <laughs> it's big, pointy, and full of estrogen! <laughs> of course, I trust you. Uh, thanks, Albert. Uh, thanks, Albert. I do believe I chose the right person for this. I'm in here to protect you. I swear upon my loyalty as a knight. He's so sincere. Damn it! Damn it, my, my true weakness! Who could ever refuse that giant puppy face? You! <laughs> Albert? Your face is red again. Uh, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? I hope you haven't gotten sick from running out around outside. I'll be fine. I'll be fine, I swear. Hmm, alright. He stood up from the sofa, looking at his wounds. They seem almost entirely healed. 
That's crazy. It's only been a few hours. Of course, my regeneration is the best even among those constellations. You should you should come with me. It's safer if I can protect you. He leans in close to my face. I stare back confused. <laughs> it's weird. You seem quite strong, but you obviously have the experience in combat. You're a puzzle piece that we have no idea where it goes. We should have Cygnus, uh, Cygnus experiment on you. Um, yeah, what is this? Experiment? What is this? The, is it the anal probing? I am very aware of this of the existence of his lips. They're very close, and I can't think of anything else. Ah, uh, I'm so hopeless. There's a loud booming knock at the door before the entire front door is knocked down. Boom, boom, and boom. I flinch at the noise, but Leo merely looks up. A squad of men in black military gear pour pour into my living room. They have their guns raised. We have, we have you. We have you surrounded. Weapons on the ground and hands behind your head. <laughs> what's, what's going on, Albert? Yeah, about approaching anyone with their connections to our society the government. Well, so my existence has already been discovered. L let's find a way out. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, let's find a way out now. He protectively grabs my hand. Grabs my hand! Glancing at the door. This doesn't make any sense. The sword is still sheathed. We seem like harmless regular people. Without thinking, I yell at the men. What do you want from Leo? He hasn't done anything wrong! Despite the immediate situ situation, I'm furious at the way the police and military will treat Leo. The men make no attempts to talk with me. So sorry, regular citizen. He's a, f he's a foreign alien. We have to throw him back to Mexico. Instead, they creep towards us in a un unison. Do -dum, do -dum. Fingers under triggers. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. I back towards my balcony. His hand glows, and a blinding white light lights up the entire room. It was as if Leo himself was a flash grenade. Psh ah! My eyes! Ah! Ah! My eyes! Even though my eyes are filled with white, I shut them away. There would have been no point of Leo warning me, despite me closing my eyes. The heavenly light still blazed through my skull. I hadn't even gotten the blunt of it, unlike the soldiers that yelled and fearfully covered their faces. Leo had shielded the, st the starlight from me. I feel my arm being urgently pulled. We run into the balcony. The light has, has given us a second second's relief. Already, the affected soldiers are clearing the room, allowing fresh ones to enter. I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm trying to not freak out. Albert! Don't don't you see? No. My powers surpass any human weapons and are ready to go off at any moment. They can't take any chances. Still, this is unreasonable. I hate this, Leo. You're trying to save the, this world, but they treat you this way. This is why I hate people. Yeah, you're socially awkward. <laughs> you don't, Albert. Calm down. Calm down. Even those even those against us believe they're the ones trying trying to protect this world. They're on the balcony. Stop them! They're on the balcony! Stop them! The glass behind his cracks are basically cornered, cornered now. Okay, we look at each other. What do we do? What are we going to do? Or I trust you, Leo. Okay! This is an anime moment, everybody. So what should we say? What are we gonna do? Or I trust you, Leo. I trust you, Leo. 100%. Yep, everything will be okay. Because I'm here. I'm your knight in shining abs. I mean monster. I mean sword. I mean armor. Maybe? My hand grabs at his coat without thinking. Yeah, hold on tight to me. Hold on tight. He leaps off the building. Whee! He's so gay. Like, ee! And I'm pulled away from the solid. He's so gay. <laughs> and I'm pulled away from the solid ground with him. Huh. There goes all my astronomy gear. Bye. Goodbye, gear. There goes my peaceful, lonely life. Goodbye, lonely life. The wind blows through my hair, and my glasses threaten to fall off. No, not my glasses! The city lights below us speed past. Leo lands on the concrete floor, barely stuttering and kicks off again. And I can feel the shock when it makes and takes and, and I cling on tighter. Eek! My heart is pounding into the arm wrap around me. Leo looks on unafraid. Unafraid! But, but where are we going, Leo? 
I have to yell to be heard over the wind. It seems we have an opponent. I must meet their challenge. You sound excited about this. Nande! <laughs> hey, Dan Gay! No, what? what? Dan Gay! Ooh. Okay, let's try number one. What? A shrill, booming, but familiar voice abruptly rang out from, from nowhere. She's here. He lands smoothly on the roof of a two story hotel. I let out a deep breath and released my death grip on Leo. My legs are shaking so hard, I'm nearly collapsing on the floor. He grins at me confidently, taking a protective stance near me. What in the world is going on? Wait, what? I know that hot pink hair from anywhere. She's floating 20 meters above us in the sky with something in her hands. No way. Is that a rocket launcher she's holding? I can feel that energy. It's not human. What, what are we stopping here for? Why aren't we getting away? She'll shoot us down. Albert! Albert! Watch out! Huh? Huh? Leo darts in front of me and swipes his sword, knocking away a stray missile. It gets hurled to the side and explodes, sending shrapnel flying. Oh, ooh! Hey, look! It's Jinx! And bees! Bees! Man! Man, I knew she worked for some weird government branch. I always knew that my that my best friend is an evil government, evil government crony. But I thought she was just a, just a secretary. I know you gay boy. What? What? I know you gay boys are up to no good, and I will be the one to stop you. The voice is Stephanie's, but there's something villainous beneath, as if something deeper spoke through her. Still, it didn't seem she was being controlled. More like merged into one entity. She gave off a fam familiar glow, the same as Leo's. Stephanie, what's going on? Your role is done here, you loner. Now I have bigger problems than a broken nail. <laughs> silence, villain. Sorry, silence, villain. I will not have you terrorizing humanity. He leaps up, his sword drawn. It glows deadly white. He swings, clashing with Stephanie, who blocks easily with a rocket. Sparks fly where they meet. N no way. You arrogant little constellation. You're blinded by your own light. She giggles. A genuine sniff. Stephanie giggles. And kicks Leo away. Pachui! It seemed as if there was a, a there was a nuclear star power behind the behind the kick. Leo gets thrown back by the force, but he lands on his feet. All I could do was stand there and watch helplessly. These were superhuman abilities. If only I was an X-Man. And if I even tried to help, I'd probably die. Please be okay, Leo. Go, Leo. W what is that power? Are you the ones? Are you the ones behind the disappearing stars? He leaps back towards Stephanie, dodging the countless projectiles streaming past him. Hmm, you could say we are. I won't deny that, dear Leo. Oh, fantastic, of course. Humans are always the, the problem of everything. She easily stops his sword, her arm smoking slightly. Huh. Huh? De dear? Idiot! Do you not remember me because I have a host? Can you not recognize me? Leo's the one shaking now. He exchanges blows with her, but I know this is moving slowly. Sorry, slowing. L Leo, are you okay? It, it can't be. I haven't heard from you in so long. Ah! Stephanie ju dodges his strike, his strike, and lands a strong hit on Leo. He gets sent flying into a nearby building wall. Debris flung into the air. Leo stumbles back up. Now, d now, do you remember? Now, do you remember who I am, you insolent pup? She roared with laughter. I can't stand to see him this upset. His face is distraught, but he doesn't, doesn't give up. But he doesn't give up. But he doesn't give up. But he doesn't give up. Once again, launching his powerful attacks at his opponent. I notice a few specks of blood dripping down Stephanie's arm. She was being worn down, but not to the extent Leo, sorry, Leo was. She seems to barely notice. Your Vespa! Vespa? Vespa? Vespa as in Motor Vespa? You're Vespa! You're, you're Vespa, aren't you? Where have you, where have you been? W why are you fighting against me? We're family! Not to be outdone, Stephanie. Vespa? 
tries to cap capitalize in Leo's moment of weakness, grinning wickedly as she closes the gap between them and throws out a barrage of punches. Family! What are you spouting off on? Once I was considered obsolete, I was driven out of the academy. All of us were. We weren't needed anymore. Orion discarded us, as if we were trash. Were you not aware of this little child? As Leo deflects the, the explosives, he finds himself face to face with Vespa! No, no way! That's why you that's why you all left? Leo's sword dips, and Vespa takes the opening to fire her rocket launcher point blank. Gah! His glow his glow wavers. Hey, if only there's CG of this fight. He glows wavers, and he backs down, knocking away any of the of the missiles gunning for me. Without thinking, I run towards him, catching him as he's faltering. Leo. Leo, you're bleeding again. This, this isn't good. You're going to open your wounds again. No! I won't stop it! I won't stop! I can't! Sweetie, your valor is great, but you need to... But there's always a time for... There's always a next time, sir! <laughs> and you call yourself a leader? And when you don't realize the darkness surrounding you? It, it can't be... Next to me, I can't tell if you're shaken. Whoever Vespa was, they used to be close to Leo. So what do we do? Back off, he's trying to save her, and you're in our way. Or, I don't know who you are or what you did with Stephanie, but don't you dare talk to Leo like that. Yeah, don't you dare talk to Leo like that, you little bitch. <laughs> Number one. Albert, stay back. It's dangerous. He's trying to keep me back, but at this point, I'm having none of it. Stephanie's pissing me off, and it's not only because of tonight. Leo, Leo hasn't done anything wrong. You're the one trying to stop him and yet you, you think you're in the right? You're not the sole one- You're not the sole one? You're not the sole one that's been cast away and ignored, and you won't be the last. Stop being a dramatic baby, Stephanie. You're not important, so SHUT UP! I'm- I'm going to wipe you off the face of this planet, little man. Since that's what you're asking for. Try it, LOSER! Uh, LOSER?! I feel a familiar hand around my wrist- my waist. Leo smiles gratefully- uh, gratefully at me. It's all right. Thanks, my friend. I haven't forgotten what I'm fighting for. Even if I have to go against my former family, I'll do it for humanity. For you, Albert. For you, Albert! Leo, you can do this. You're gonna win! I grab his hand and squeeze it determinedly. His sword begins to glow brighter ever so. Brightly, I slightly. Cute, but no matter, but no amount of gay star energy is going to defeat me. Think again, think again. You're the one not thinking, Baka Arrow. Smirking, Leo turns to face me. I'll need your help for this. Oh yeah, do do the loveless thing. Oh, if you guys know what I mean, loveless is actually an anime, and to get some superpower, I think they have to. Uh, I need your help for this. I'll do anything. While his attention is on me, step. Vespa frustratedly sends another wave of homing missiles at me. I'm going to throw you at Vespa. What? Huh? Without any further warning, Leo grabs and launches me towards Vespa. Hey! Here! You'll be my... <laughs> You'll be my distraction! Leaving me flailing into the air. <laughs> is this a joke? Are you going to throw your boyfriend at me for a target practice? I'm gonna kill him, so I can watch you cry like a child you are! She has a rocket launcher locked and ready at my head. Oh my god, how am I going to survive this? Sobra! Omicron! Leonis! Behind me, Leo's aura flares up and he had already been moving at two superhuman speeds, but I barely registered him shielding me from Vesta's blast and haphazardly tackling my body away. It was as if he was moving at light speed. I blink and suddenly, Leo has me in a tight embrace. Keeping debris and shrapnel from coming close. What? The missiles miss us by hair lengths. Speeding passes towards Vespa. I can hear my heart pounding. I don't want him to ever let me go. Oh, he's so gay! What? What? Her own homing missiles have no time to turn away, and one by one, they explode, detona detonating in her face. She screeches, the force knocking her off her heels. Haha! <laughs> yeah! Got her! 
he laughs in the face of danger. And I laugh too in the face of my best friend being blown off by her own missiles. Stunned, but, most, but mostly glad I wasn't a dead puddle in the, on the ground. Oh my god! Excuse me! This toxicity! How rude can you be? No. In response, Leo sends a jet of nuclear energy from his sword. Yeah, it collides with her rocket launcher and sends it flying. In a flash, Leo has his sword pointed at her throat. I feel a vague concern for Stephanie. She's still in there somewhere, right? But I doubt Leo will actually kill her. Yeah, kill her, please. <laughs> I'd say I, I did say I'd win. It was luck as usual, you basic bitch, Leo. Now tell me, Vespa, who's behind all this? Oh, I'm sorry. I would spill the tea, but unfortunately, you're surrounded now. Back up, is there, sweeties? Around us, other glowing people in suits are arriving on the scene, matching Vespa's smuggler. One of them handed back Vespa's rocket launcher. I've got a new click. Check us out sometime, Albert. No, no way. The rest of you guys? That's cheating! Seeing their guns raised and ready to fire, Leo jumps back as the first blast crate craters where, where he once stood. He's able to dodge the, the, dodge the attack, but he's slowing. Damn it! There's no opening for attacks. I'll have to withdraw. Starting with you! I'll take back what was stolen from us. Leo's on the defensive, and at this rate, I don't think we can win against an entire superhuman party. But I see the gleam in his eyes of another plan. We're going to use our powers against her. Do you, do you trust me, Albert? Why don't you just kiss him already? What is he talking about? Of course, of course I trust him. There was no other option. What are you planning? I'm going to get her to blast us out into space. What? I'm confused. That plan seems reasonable. Wait, wait, what? Without waiting for my response, he drags me into the air with him. Vespa's new friends are backing her up, her dimming glow suddenly bursting with renewed power. Do your do your worst! I will vanquish you all regardless! R rushing up upwards, he pulls out his sword, making his intent clear. I don't know if I'll ever get used to hanging in the air by a single thread. How nice of you to give me an easy target! I'll make this quick! Close your eyes, Albert. Her launcher glows with an even greater intensity. Leo dodges around the first rocket and darts around Vespa. In a split second, he, sh he sheets his sword and gets right in her face with a sky to our back. To our, to our back. She turns around, her enraged expression turning into triumph. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! What are you thinking, Bacchus? She fires, close enough to engulf us in the blast. The rest of her gang take that as their cue to fire away as well. This is it! Hold on! Vaz Zosma! Delta Leonis! He puts up a wall of light right before the explosive impact us. This time I have to close my eyes before I lose my sight permanently. Ah! There's a loud ear shattering kaboom! Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom! I heard him cry out in pain, but all I could do is brace myself as I feel a violent push upwards. Leo, are you. I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't let go of me. Okay, I'm letting go! <laughs> Tightening my grip on his arm, I feel my ears pop from the change in pressure. Leo had used our en enemy's powers to propel him out of the Earth's atmosphere. And you are breathing! That's weird! <laughs> the sky is a dark blue and the wind roars around us. When the, ringing, ring when the ringing stops and complete silence sets in, I open my eyes. Whoa. I can still breathe! And I'm not getting roasted by the lack of atmosphere! Leo must have put this bubble of oxygen before we get blasted up. I'd say this is some good news. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Hey, hey. We're alive. We're drifting away from the Earth. The obsolete constellation's combined strength was so strong that it even broke us out of Earth's orbit. Still, Leo's hurt from the battle. His arm is bloodied, and his stomach wound had opened up again. To save me and escape into space, he took the brunt of that attack. Leo, you alright? Give me your hand. His hand barely has energy to move towards mine. I hastily clasp up both of his hands in mine. Okay, trying to hold back tears. I'm surprised I have the energy to do so. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'm not mortal. So, I scr so a scratch like this will only bring pain. He was actually bleeding pretty heavily, but I decided not to bring it up. Still, you really saved us. I'm sorry you had to do this. Thank you. Leo, Leo smiled at me, confident and beaming. 
His face told me that everything could work out, that I didn't, that I didn't have to worry. We were going to be okay, somehow. His smile glows, but then so does that connection between our class hands. Something surges through them, and in that moment, I can feel the power of the stars. This is the end of Leo's first act! Thanks for playing!